Using reflection to find which methods have a certain attribute throughout your entire project? Well, that's a slow process. But what if I could show you how to make it run in less than a second? Let's say I have an attribute, and we'll call this attribute object header GUI attribute. And I'm going to place this above multiple methods throughout my code, defining how I want to draw an override for the game object header. And that's the one in the inspector, if you didn't know. And you can override it. I think I showed it in another video, but I'm too lazy to look through my videos. Let me know in the comments if I did. If I didn't, let me know if you want me to do a video on it. And I'll do a video on it. Anyway, back to this video. Now, I have loads of instances across my project with this. In fact, just two in this particular project. But I can use reflection to find all these. And I can do that by getting all the assemblies and then getting all the types in those assemblies and then getting all the methods for those types then scanning those methods for my custom attribute. Blah, -de blah. Obviously, I would make this a lot prettier, encapsulate it and actually do something with the methods it returns. But here, we're just going to do a counter. Now, obviously, you might not believe me how quick this goes. So we're going to chuck in a little bit of diagnostics to give us some timing. Now, when we run it, as you can see, it goes for five seconds. Now, some of you might be saying, oh, you could do that in link. It would be so much faster. Well, you're wrong. It takes eight seconds. Now, let's move on. There is an alternative. Otherwise, this wouldn't be a very good video. And our alternative gets us less than one second. But how do we do it? Well, what you might not know, because Unity is terrible at promoting this stuff, is that the Unity editor builds an acceleration table, and that contains information about type attributes, derived classes, interfaces, and it wraps them up in a nice little class called the type cache. So let's jump back into a code example. So here we have our new menu option, and as you can see, I've highlighted we're using type cache, and we're using the method get methods with attribute. And obviously we're passing it the attribute we're interested in. And that's going to return us all the methods that have that attribute throughout our project. And it's that simple. It's pulling it from a cache. It's not going to have to do all the reflection. It's a lot less code and it's a lot quicker. But we'll need to prove that. So we'll wrap some diagnostics around it. And as we can see in Unity, it's less than a second. But it's not just for methods with attributes. We can also use it for fields or classes. And we can also see if those classes derive from other types or if they use interfaces. So let's see another example. Let's say I have an interface called iScene Validation Procedure, and I want to see what classes use it. I simply use the method get types derived from, and then I can loop through the type collection it returns. So is reflection dead in the Unity Editor tools? No, of course it isn't. You can use it for other things. But on these occasions, it's a lot quicker to use the type cache. Now, just a note before everybody hits the comments to berate me on the fact that I didn't do an average of 100 times running these procedures. And I'm lazy because I used the stopwatch from System Diagnostics and didn't use the Unity one. Yeah, all right, I'm lazy. I don't care. The point is type cache is a lot quicker. And if you really want to flame war, is a singleton video that I made that you can really go to town on. 